Hey everybody, wanted to say hi and talk to you a little bit about this new painting. I uh, I have not seen you guys, I've done not done a video in, in two months. I'm so sorry, but I have been super, super busy doing shows in and around um, Sarasota shows, events, art shows. And this painting is very special. This is for my daughter and my son-in-law, who are avid um, trout uh, fishermen and fly fish, fly fisher woman and man. <laughs> um, they both do an, an amazing job at fly fishing, and they travel around a lot to do that. And they love uh, trout, so I wanted to do something very, very special for them for Christmas. And my son-in-law also ties his own ties. So if you go on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook, it's Green Finn Fly Company. And he sends his hand-tied ties all over the world. So um, this is an extra special gift. And it's coming out so fantastic that I really wanted to share it with you. Um, and, you know, going through the process of the painting. And I thought, how great would that be if they also got to see a video of me painting their Christmas present for them? So here we go. And I hope you enjoy it. And I'm sorry it's been so long since I've uh, done a video for you. But uh, I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and you had a wonderful time with your family and friends. I did. And uh, my husband did. We all did. We had a great time at Thanksgiving. So see you later and come back and watch me do this painting. All right, guys. See you later. Bye. Okay, I'm going to continue on with the rocks. I'm getting a little bit of color into them. They're mainly white, but uh, they have uh, a lot of reflection of the... Um, colors like blues and I am using the um, lit, uh, flow troll to thin it out thin out the the colors It gives the rocks a little more dimension. Then I'll come back in with some more white as well.
I'm mixing purple and red together. I have a little red over here and purple. already in the plate you're gonna need that Floetrol adds a lucidity it, it, it 
um, makes things more transparent. I'm also going to be using <coughs> tulip. I'm going to for my white areas in the ripple in the water. I'm using a metallic, and this the flow trial will thin it out. Um, as we go along, you'll see because ripples have lights and darks. And then I'm also using this brush, which will um, give an even uh, painting surface. So I'm going to put the camera down a little bit more um, so that you can see it. Okay? You have to be a good boy and stop barking. Okay, so I gotta be honest, <laughs> I'm a little nervous about this, all this beautiful work, but it's very flat, so you you really don't, you can't tell that he's, that trout is underwater, so I'm getting the, the metallic on the plate. I'm gonna dip my brush a little bit. Okay, so I'm pulling in, I'm pulling in the full flow trawl, then I'm pulling in the metallic and I'm mixing the two together. This will thin out this uh Both sides of my brush. Make sure it's good and in there. Okay, here goes nothing. I think I want the ring to be start right here. Right now it's just gonna seem a little translucent, but when it dries. You will be able to see that more. So as you can see, the white has dried and I've come in with a little bit of green and I am going to come in with a little translucent black. And then I'm going to, as you can see, it looks more like ripples now. I'm going to add in a bubble. So 
I'm going to try to reposition the camera so you can see how, what I'm doing here. Okay, guys? Okay, again, I have my flow tall here. A little bit of black. And I'm thinning it out quite a bit. I want to... Oh, shoot. That's not cool. Everybody, the painting is finished. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and let me know what you'd like to see me paint next. All right, guys, see you later. And Mr. Cody signing off as well. All right, bye bye.